Before heading to Cape Breton Island, we stayed at the Lidscombe Lodge, only two hours from Halifax. Here we had banana pancakes for breakfast, watched the hummingbirds at the feeders, and got up at 5am to canoe on the lake. This is part two of our Nova Scotia guide, the Cape Breton Island. For us, the northern part of Nova Scotia, also known as Cape Breton Island, is where most of our memories come from when we think of this stunning province. The first place we recommend on the Cape Breton Island is Badek. This village is considered to be the beginning and the end of the famous Cabot Trail. Here you can see bald eagles and even bears. We literally went for a drive and saw so much wildlife along the way. One of the things we definitely recommend to do in Badek is see the eagles. You can set sail on a schooner to watch the eagles soar above you and feed them from the ship while you're on the water. Being able to be that close to one of North America's most beloved birds was a memory we will not forget anytime soon. If museums are your thing, take a trip to the Alexander Graham Bell National Historical Site. Learn about the inventor of the telephone and discover his unique inventions. Other suggestions for Bedeck. Sample the local beers at the Big Spruce Brewery. Take a hike and visit the Ishkaban Falls. With winding roads running through the mountains, hugging the coastline, the Cabot Trail is known as one of the most beautiful and scenic journeys in the world. You can't visit the Cape Breton Island and not experience this drive through the highlands. Take a trip on the famous Skyline Trail. This hike is known for its dramatic views overlooking the Gulf Coast. From the trail you can see moose, eagles, whales and even bears. Go hunting for waterfalls and search for moose on one of the 26 hiking trails. These vary from easy strolls to challenging climbs. Suggestions for the Cabot Trail. Go whale watching at Pleasant Bay. Taste whiskey at the Glenora Inn and Distillery. Go kayaking. Explore Inganish Beach. If you're a history lover, visit the Fortress Lewisburg National Historic Site. Here you have a chance to chat with soldiers, fishermen, merchants and servants living in the 1700s settlement. Take a trip to the city of Sydney, the largest urban area on Cape Breton. Suggestions for Sydney. Experience life in a coal mine at the Miners Museum. See the world's largest fiddle by the water. Visit the tap rooms and enjoy live music at the Breton Brewing Company. We hope that these two videos will help you for your up and coming trip and inspire you to visit. So whether you're staying in the city or exploring the whole province, there's something for everybody. Whether it's a day trip from the capital, a hike in the mountains, or just a trip to the sea, you won't regret your visit to this beautiful province.